I'll speak as chairman of the board here or whatever. Is, uh, we had a technicality. Uh, we just realized that uh, our meeting started at 2, 2, 2, 2 2.35, Chairman Long. 2.40. 40, 40, 40, and uh, we realized that the camera went off, and we just uh, it's now 3.55, and we've covered uh, operations, uh, all sorts of things, whatever, marketing. And I'm not sure if we want to do a summarization or we just want to continue where we're at and have closure or where we want to go from here. Well, just to recap, we've... Uh, approve the unfinished business, the airport uh, committee charter that's being moved forth to the full board. We've had an excellent op operations update uh, by Patrick. We've had uh, just gone through the marketing update uh, from John Morrison, and now we're into uh, some operations related agenda okay. items. agenda item basically goes away. There's, uh, I'll shorten it up here, there's $330,000 worth of revenue control equipment that has been purchased on our behalf by MAPCO through competitive bids using our rules. Um, that equipment is purchased and is on the way. There'll be more details on that tomorrow. Okay, okay. thank you. We'll move right along, uh, contract for our Intel plane and fuel service agreement. Um, the, this agreement is with Allegiant Air, and I need to be crystal clear, I do not recommend authorization to sign this agreement. I recommend authorization to sign an agreement. Um, so what we'll do is I'll continue negotiations with Allegiant Air, and then approach the committee and the board at that time, and I'll probably will end up asking for ratification um, to be able to get that done. So this agenda item is actually, it's there for your information, but it represents one side of the negotiation. Okay. okay. So, so you're just letting us know that you are yes. negotiating, but yes. not there yeah. yet, yes. but we will have an agreement. I had hoped later. to have that done for today. I do not have okay. that for today. Okay. That's fine. All right. Moving on, uh, other matters, uh, approval of parking fees. Um, under the parking fees, um, we've been working extensively with MAPCO. MAPCO is us. They are our agent. And for parking fees, the recommendation is as follows. Um, zero to... Um, basically, zero to two hours is three bucks. And anything after two hours is eight dollars per day. The reason I'm hesitating a little bit is there is going to be a 30-minute grace period in there where there is no, no charge. But we're going to publicize that. Okay. Um, this is the, the recommendation of MAPCO. We're in agreement with that, and also on a calendar day basis, as opposed to as opposed to an hourly, uh, twenty-four hour basis. Okay. The procedure here that we need to do to adopt these rates, and that's run it through the committee, run it through the board, and then get approval. So I guess my question is, me being a frequent flyer here, if I go um, on a Friday. And I come back on Saturday. Let's say I leave Friday at eight in the morning, and I come fly back in at Saturday at eight in the morning. Because we don't have, probably don't have that opportunity. But if we did, most places it's a 24 hours, but we would be two days. Yeah. Still yes. cheaper. Still. <laughs> and, and to let you know, uh, Ottawa, I believe, is, is on the, those days too, because I just oh, I came they're, back. Yeah, they're, <laughs> yeah, they're on the. And calendar day. You know, what's, what's interesting in the, all this too is uh, the people flying Cape Air, they're, they're going to be checked at parking fees where before, you know what I mean? Maybe, depending if they're if they're local, they might yeah. just swing in, take advantage of the 30 minute yeah. grace period, and uh, there we go. Now, on these fees, uh, have, do we have a, uh, a, a, a NAPCO come up with a, like a plus fee? Group comes in. They're working on it. They're uh, working the on current it. discussion okay. is dollars based on uh, passenger capacity. So okay. if you had a 55 passenger motor coach, 55 bucks. Uh, 26 passenger, 26 bucks. Right. So they are uh, working regardless on of number of people on it. They okay. are working on it. Okay. We're working on a taxi a plan for charging taxes. Okay. okay. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, 
how is that going to be built? I mean, the bus pulls up, we don't know they're coming by bus, and they're just saying there's 50 people on the bus. Uh, how do they pay that? How they must have a system back up. Well, there would be, um, hypothetically, uh, 50, when the bus pulls up, you can see the capacity right there on the display okay. of the size, and it would be 55 passenger, 55 dollar charge. Take MasterCard, Visa. So it's but who charges there? I mean, the toll operator? The uh, revenue control system. Okay. They also said that they have in the past, not necessarily got it set up here yet, uh, the first time it comes in, oh, welcome. Now, to come again, you need to sign into our system, and then you are part of our system, and then when you come in, you automatically get charged. Now, there's also a carrot and a stick approach. We need to explore our ability as an authority to say in that hypothetical case, the first time, oh, no problem, sign up for a program. And the second time, sign up for the program, pay the 55 bucks if it's a 55 passenger motor coach. The third time that you come in and you don't pay the fee, there has to be some kind of stick. So we are investigating what options we have given the nature of the authority. And we, there are some powers that we have we need to get familiar with. Makes sense. We need a motion to approve them, wait for Yes, please. Okay, I'll move that. That we uh, okay, second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. No, the full board. In the back lot, or lot B, whatever you want to call it, can buses park back there? No, but the way it was striped. <laughs> they well, striped that lot too. Well, the way the way you were looking at the the, the design of the road. Good spots or a couple of places you could probably park buses. Maybe when if we eliminate some of that green space that we're talking about, yeah. it's possible. I mean, buses have to wait. The so buses pulls up and he's picking up people have to go someplace. What we're talking about is paving right up to um, the inner ring of the parking lot there, so that we, I mean, it'd be a tight fit, but you could park a motor coach there, for example, and still have two lanes of traffic going around. It. Um, anything else on that? Okay. Next up is uh, approval of commercial ground transportation service operator guidelines. Um, because we're becoming a real airport, we need to have some real guidelines. And this is complements of MAPCO. Um, they've done a lot of uh, investigation for us into options. And we have a pretty good set of rules and regs here, which you can see on the screen. Well, it was beyond our, our curve of knowledge and what, <laughs> what's involved when we, <laughs> we started doing this. So There's things in here I never even thought of. No, no. Uh, basically deals with uh, categories. Those mm -hmm. include shuttle operators, taxi cabs, limos, bus operators, off-site off -site airports, parking lot shuttle operators. I wouldn't want to do a logistics of this. I'll, I'll move that if, we, if that's what we're looking for here. Yeah. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Uh, as part of our relationship with uh, MAPCO, MAPCO is our agent, uh, we need to have an operating bank account set up at Community Bank. In order to have an account set up, um, we need a committee approval and then a board approval. And that's what the purpose of this resolution uh, is. Right, you want to yeah, this bank account will be different than our other bank accounts in that it will be MAPCO people that will be signing it. We will be giving them, and with the same rules of two signatures, and although one of them will not be a board member, there will be two signatures required on any check over 2500 So we, this account will be funded. Uh, originally, we'll have to fund it with some kind of, with some cash, but on a regular, ongoing basis, it will be funding, funded by Revenue from the airport, parking, um, and expenses will be paid from the revenue of the parking, and uh, we will take net revenue from that account and deposit that into our. How do we go to our audit reporting? They 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 will uh, they will reconcile this account each month, and they have they're doing this at the uh, Rochester Airport. Very familiar with what they have to do for audit purposes. Okay. 
So, so that would be the map, the two people on would be MAPCO people, but I'm assuming yes. you'll also, or, or somebody from authority will be on that too. I guess my question is, so all of a sudden, and my, my thinking is, this time on the banking side, okay, it's our money. Yeah. Well, unless you're on the account fund, you can't get that. Yeah, right. But I'll, I will have to be on the account yeah. and transfer right. funds transfer. out of that. I would think, yeah. I would think the right. we'd have to have some yeah. type yeah. of control. Uh, right. I mean, things right. go bad, I want to really get our money. <laughs> so, even though they are our agents, we should have something. Yeah. Right. Good point. Well, Wade and I will be signatory. Now, right? You know, or, or, or if there's issues that you don't feel that things are kosher, and being on the account, you can get statements and you can get all those other things. Right. Right. We'll get daily statements, weekly statements, uh, monthly, monthly, monthly statements. Just monthly statements. I mean. Well, and I will have that. This account will be. I'll, I will see it every day. Right. So when you I'll get the report, report, board report out, we, we will get that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll get to see how many cars were there a month, how much revenue we're right. taking, yes. our expenses. Yes. Well, what are, okay. Perfect. Yes. That's good. Yeah, they, they, they do a good job of reporting. I saw those reports uh, for the Rochester Airport when I was in Rochester. Mm -hmm. Excellent. I'll move that. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Thank Quick you. question, I'm sorry for asking this after the fact. Do we need to tweak this resolution to reflect that you and I have the ability to sign on here? Uh, I was just thinking the same board thing. Board. I don't know whether it says, I think it says that they will be signatories. Uh, if it is, they can't be established with our agent, acting as our agent signatory. Uh, so I think it does need to say, including, signatories will include uh, you and I, right there after the first sentence. Right there? No, I think the uh, but ahead of all parking revenue will be deposited just ahead of that sentence. All right, let me right ahead of all parking revenue? Yes. What do you want it to say? I want it to say, uh, uh, the executive director and the CFO will, of uh, also have signature authority. Will also have signature authority on this account.
they're saying when they come across the bridge. Ideal world if we could do one transaction at the bridge. Because you're going to read the license plate. I think they've so it's going to be the idea so of being able to put your 275 in uh, at that walk-up station at the airport that would give you something that you could use just like you had a uh, uh, props card, you know, to go through at the bridge. Okay. Still pay the 275, but you'd have the convenience of, of not having to stop at that toll booth just flashing that. Okay. That, that's uh, future ideal state. Are, those, what we're trying are, to do now is just to get the basics working. Right. Yeah. Well, but, 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 I, but I'm all, I, and, and, I, and, and I think these are all great ideas. And obviously, I'm in favor of. I'm just thinking until we get to that point, if somebody comes across the bridge, I guess me just because I do it all the time and I'm expensive and stuff, I get a receipt. Yep. So if I'm coming across the bridge and pay 275, I get a receipt. What would prevent? Mapco to have something in their system right from day one that I could show that I have a receipt from the bridge with a day on it, mm -hmm. and they could discount my rent. Discount. Ask Mapco to one. Okay. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Until we until we get because yeah. once we get into readers and all that stuff, there's right. expense on our our end. Right. But from day one, why couldn't they have it? We'll, we'll ask them. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Ask them. Just one. Because those are the kind of ideas that they're bandying about. And I'm saying this for as much for my own benefit as for yours, but keep in mind, MAPCO is us. No, I understand. Um, and that's, you're right, there's extra cost, but whether they're MAPCOs or whether they're ours at the end of the day, they're ours. Right, right. right. And right. I'm saying, initially, I'd like to keep the cost down. Exactly. And if we can have something in, in the computer system, all right, it's going to take a little extra time on, on this person, but if they're going to save a couple bucks, they're going to hold that receipt. Mm -hmm. Sure they would. See, yeah, I, I like to think this way as far as that somebody comes across and goes through the bridge, go to the airport, and we have to pay back whatever we have to pay back. We know exactly that money that went through that toll booth, whether it goes to uh, the grocery store, was dedicated to the airport, and that money would go into a, a separate account fund that say that's where that money came from. I'm just yeah, but <laughs> I'm, I'm just I'm just telling you. What we want to do? Well, yeah, what you want to do is I'd like to know exactly what it's paying us. What it's paying us. I mean, you would, if you were running a business and you were run and that was your business, you would want to know what that bridge that who came across that bridge and where that money came from. Came to your parking lot. Yeah, where and, came. and and I I understand that you're saying that you want to know what the who came across that bridge and if that car is directly you know going effect to our airport. I can totally understand that. But it's still a little bit skewed because I could have one person in the car, or I could have six people in the car. No, but you're going to the airport and you're going to the parking lot, and you know exactly that that bridge toll is dedicated to the airport. You would know exactly where it came from. No, I, I'm, I'm you know? saying it. I mean, no. so that way you would monitor exactly what what you're doing or not doing. Okay. No, I understand. On that. the bridge side, I, I understand mean, that. Over there, possible. Yet? We aren't even close to being there. Right. But no, I said there's there's, there's issues there. I mean. We, we can't even know our truck companies because it's proprietary for the truck company. They don't want everybody to know that they're going to Syracuse every day. They don't want everybody to know, uh, uh, somebody, maybe they don't want anybody to know that they're picking up fuel in Canada, you know. Uh, so there's proprietary information uh, and there's also, um, you know, health. People are going for health, I mean, we can't know the reasons that people are crossing the bridge. We just can't. It, and, it, and it's it, nice if they we know, but you know, I, I would think that there would be some simple way where we could say this is a Canadian vehicle that came across that bridge. You want to know where it's going? You know, well, I don't well, see why you're going to know where it's going. That's right. We, yeah, we, we, we have license plate technology. Yeah, yeah, there's all kinds of things, but it's expensive. So on this resolution, oh, and there's something saying. From bonding legislation, whatever it want to be, and they want to know how I'm going to pay mm -hmm. pay this back. Right. Wouldn't you want to tell them that the, the bridge tolls pay that amount? Uh, I don't think we're going to put bridge tolls. I don't think we're going to pledge bridge tolls for no. bonding. Not for bonding. I don't know. That's going to be parking lot. Parking, parking lot only. Yes. Parking lot revenue mm -hmm. only. Right. Right. Okay. Okay. 
that's too sophisticated, or do you want to? Well, I, well, I'll, I'll did, leave it on that. I'll take about the table. All the table. revenue plans. Yeah, I understand, <laughs> but I mean, so, you know, businesses run very sophisticated. Mm -hmm. Exactly what yep. lines of lines of where the money came from, and what right. they expect. Yep. Was, yep. With that. I'm not trying to tie us up, but I'm just trying to say that's the parking lot. Okay. Probably on this one, uh, if you're okay with that change, we should probably have a, a review on this one. Okay. Uh, I added the executive director and CFO shall have signatory authority on this account. Okay. That's good. Can we just bring it to the board as a member? Yeah. Sure. Because we're not. That's why it has to be after all. Yeah. Okay. We just put that as well. Make sure you're okay yeah. with yeah. that. So. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. We'll make that change. Sure. In the, uh, and, uh, I guess mm -hmm. and that's just a point of clarification since we didn't. We're on camera the whole time. Do you want us to redo those resolutions for the jet pump scale, whatever the? Yeah, I, I mean we could. Yeah. You choose. Yeah. I mean that's fine. Okay. So yeah. Yes. Because we're on camera right now. Yeah. So I'll make a motion to uh, approve the jet a pump skin. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. I'll also make a motion to approve the uh, repairs done by Route 11 Truck Sales and Service. That was 8,000 something? 8,000. 8, 200 dollars. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carried. As long as we're on the redo, we should probably redo the unfinished business and the approval of the airport committee charter. Okay. I'll make a motion to approve the airport committee charter. Yes, sir. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Is there anything else? Mr. Well, let me, let me ask this question, Wayne, because as we look at, here we have the airport committee, we don't want to be. Now we have the Aug or the Augsburg Bridge, all right, authority or committee. We have a bridge committee, yes. A bridge committee. Should we separate ourselves, I mean, in our charter at some point in time, let's say this Augsburg uh, Airport or Augsburg, whatever you want to call it, something different than that? I don't understand your question. Well, I guess the Each question is... Each has its own charter. Well, I see you have your own charter, so in other words... We'd have a board meeting for the Augsburg Bridge, right? We have a tool. No, no. you never have your own board meeting no, for the Augsburg Bridge. The Augsburg Bridge Authority pertains.
We struck oil? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, if we uh, did, it would be uh, an environmental disaster. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, probably would. What's, what's this going to cost us? <laughs> yeah. It wouldn't be crude. It is. <laughs> Underground tank. Yeah. No, hang on. Oh. They're making gas here. They're extracting oil up there at the, at the, at the uh, JNL site. They struck a million gallons up there, but it was all clean up. There we go. Oh, they have that part, <laughs> yeah. Um, Mr. Committee Chairman, we need a brief executive session to deal with matters which will imperil the public safety is disclosed. Okay, I'll make a motion that we prepare to executive session. No action is anticipated. I'll, I'll, I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Out of the executive session, we return to regular session. session. So I'll make the I'll second. I'll second. Aye. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Now I'll make a motion that we uh, adjourn. I'm going to make that motion. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed?